So if you consider where we are and you look at the uh, elevation of Lake Kivu, and I would estimate where we're sitting right now is probably 1,800 meters above sea level. This is quite a unique and ideal topography for coffee production. There's been coffee in this community for 30 years. They haven't received the value for that coffee. Why not? Because they haven't had access to the markets. So we partner with them. We were able to be a catalyst to bring in folks like USAID and the Howard Buffett Foundation to say, hey, here's an opportunity to invest in people. From a relatively modest investment, farmers' incomes have more than tripled, and they can now afford to send their children to school, with food on the table, and access proper health care. As a result, the world has a new source of high-quality coffee. Avec beaucoup d'humilité et de très grand respect, je veux vous remercier et vous féliciter pour nous avoir rendu le plus récent Starbucks Reserve Coffee. Et nous sommes très 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 fiers d'honorer votre café comme Starbucks Reserve. Merci pour avoir produit ce café extraordinaire signé par Craig Russell. Sasa tulipataka mafundisho tukaanza wana tunafaidika sana tukafurahi nilikuwa sina wa kunisaidia lakini nikajenga hii nyumba na nitajenga tena uliona nani mshe bro mtajenga tena ingine What's great about Kongwe's coffee is that it has a potential not just to meet a, uh, a market need but it also has a potential to uh, revitalize communities and uh, an economy as a whole In the 1970s Kongo was one of the primary coffee producers in the world and for a while they were averaging about 80,000 tons a year in coffee production. Because people didn't have the security to be able to treat their farms well, uh, coffee production really went down and Congo lost its uh, mark as a coffee producing uh, region. So what we did over the course of the last four years is work with these coffee growers to improve their quality production. Uh, with the help of USAID and Howard Buffett, uh, ECI, CRS, and our partners uh, Caritas have been able to invest in these farmers. And as a result of that, these farmers are now getting three times more revenue as they were three years ago. Um, they're having direct contact with their business partners, um, and they're seeing real change in their community. So ECI has played several key roles. Uh, I think the first has been as a convener. We were able to really bring the private sector and the producers around the table to discuss what are the issues that make sense for all of them and how are they able to gain value in a sustainable coffee value chain. The second was uh, ensuring that the farmers were able to achieve a quality in their coffee processing. And then the third thing that we did was really work with these growers in their cooperatives to ensure that they had the tools, the resources, uh, and the human capital to be viable businesses that were representative of the farmer's interests. Fourth and finally, we played the role of advocate. So we've worked closely with the local government, national government, and the Coffee Exporters Trade Union to address some of these factors around fraud and we've been able to promote a healthier business climate for the coffee trade. What we've been able to successfully implement over the last few years can now be scaled into other coffee producing areas. We want to continue to be a conduit for private and public investment into other coffee producing areas to ensure that farmers are able to receive value for producing high quality coffee and for farmers to be able to um, address the cost of doing business. Congo has historically been thought of as the breadbasket for Africa. Maybe it's not that so much anymore, but it could be more so again. I see great potential in coffee to revive Kivu Coffee's reputation. If I can leverage that change, I can be a driver for change on the ground. I can take a great coffee to the market, get the price premium, feed that back uh, through to the smallholder farmers in Kivu. This work is scalable. This work is replicable, and in just five short years, it will have a transformative impact on individuals living in Eastern Congo.